Well, hello, Pard. Tonight, it's Western night. Imagine having a, a nice Western on or, or being out in the range and, and cookie off the back of the chuck wagon is feeding you a big bowl of beans and franks. Well, cookie never made cowboy beans and chorizo. With some chorizo in here, it just adds an extra kick to it. And then I cook this in molasses and Worcester sauce and it's just fantastic flavor mixture. Mmm. Yeah. That'd be a great after a day ride in the range. All right, let's go to the kitchen and make something right now. All right, to make our cowboy beans and chorizo, here's what we have. We have one and a half pounds of chorizo. That's like about eight sausages about that big. And they've been cut into half inch rounds or half inch slices. Then over here, we've got white beans. That's two 15 ounce cans of white beans. And here, one 15 ounce can of crushed or chopped tomatoes. One onion that's been chopped. Two tablespoons of olive oil, which is going to go in here first, and we're going to fry the uh, beans, no, the onions and the uh, chorizo in there. Uh, here we have a quarter cup of molasses. We have two tablespoons of ketchup, one tablespoon of Worcester sauce, um, two tablespoons of chili powder, one teaspoon each of pepper and salt. All right, so let's put the oil into the pot. And bring that up to medium heat. Get the oil going. Just gonna wait till that oil starts to move around on top of it and you'll get the fragrance coming off there. All right, the oil is getting hot, so in go the onions. Nice sizzling sound. In goes the chorizo. And then all I'm going to do is for the next 10 minutes, I'm going to cook these over medium heat and just stir them around a bit. I just want to get a little bit of browning happening on there. Not much. Now, this is not a vital step. So if you find yourself with little time, you don't want to be standing around here frying these up, you could always throw everything in there and just cook it for 40, no, <laughs> mathematics. Uh, <laughs> This usually cooks for one and a half hours, one hour and 40 minutes you'd cook it for instead. But I do like to, if you can, you know, take a couple minutes to brown things a little bit. And then we're going to add in the rest of the ingredients. So I'll see you in about 10 minutes. Uh, that's been cooking for just, uh, just a little under 10 minutes. You can see we got some nice browning happening on some of the sausages and the onions. So. Let's get the rest of the ingredients here. Now, here we have those two 15 ounce can of beans. And this is with all beans that come in a can, rinsed and drained. You don't want all that guck that's in there and the, the extra sodium. Remember, we're using good salt, not the stuff they use in canning. So rinse that off. Right, in go the beans. In goes the tomatoes. All right, and then we're going to put in the uh, ketchup. And molasses. This is really what gives that fantastic flavor. Between the, the molasses and the Worcestershire sauce, Worcester sauce, it... Uh, just really gives it a fantastic mixture of flavors in there. All right, we'll get all that in there. I love molasses. Worcester sauce. Oh, there we go, making a mess again. Chili powder. Hmm. Salt and pepper. And now, I'm going to mix that down in there. I'm going to turn the heat down. 
So what we want to do for now on is we're going to cover this and just simmer it slowly for an hour and a half. Let's kind of get that mixed in there. It doesn't have to be perfect because during that hour and a half, it's a good idea to just occasionally check in and give it a little stir, turn everything over. Okay, that is going to be absolutely delicious once that's all cooked nicely. All right, put the lid on there. I'm going to simmer that for an hour and a half. I'll see you later. All right. That's been cooking for an hour and a half, just bubbling away here. And you can see it's gotten all thick. Perfect. This is what we want to see. All right, so I'm going to turn the heat off. Oh, yeah. And then just grab a bowl, serve some up. Look at that. Cowboy beans and chorizo. Mm-mm-mm. With lots of big chunks of chorizo in there. Oh, that, that is definitely worth a whole day of herding cattle to come back to that and eat it. All right, enjoy this fantastic beans dish. Now, if you go to the link appearing on the screen, you can get the free printable recipe for cowboy beans and chorizo on our website. So go print that recipe. Have fun making and yippee kaye some of this great food and make cooking fun again with Kuma's Kitchen. <laughs>